I am in Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. First of all, let me apologize for the wind. It is bad today, so I know that we're gonna have some interference from the wind, but I'm in Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia, and I love it when I'm able to bring a story together. If you remember, probably, it's probably not been quite a year ago, I told the story of a lady who survived the Titanic, and during the rescue operation, she actually fell in love with another Titanic survivor. Well, this story that I told took place in Huntington, West Virginia, now which is not far from where I live. I visited her grave in Huntington. We are some six, seven hours away in Richmond, Virginia, and I was actually able to find this family mausoleum that contains the final resting place of the man that she formed that bond with. And I'm going to put a link in the description to the old video, that way you'll be able to see what I'm talking about and a little bit of a refresher. So let's take a look at this final resting place to tie my story all together. In my first part of this story, I visited Huntington, West Virginia to visit the final resting place of Mary Eloise Smith. Mary Eloise Smith was on an extended honeymoon with her new husband, Lucian. When the trip was cut short, possibly due to her pregnancy, they booked a trip home aboard the RMS Titanic. When the order, women and children only, went out from the captain, the newlyweds were separated never to see each other again. Another man unrelated to Mary Eloise Smith was on the doomed ship as well. There are different stories surrounding the survival of Robert Williams Daniel. One of the most purported accounts stated that he jumped at the last minute and would be rescued from the ice cold water and pulled into a lifeboat. It just so happened that he was pulled into the lifeboat of Mary Eloise Smith. He comforted Mary and it was said that when the Carpathia rescued the survivors, he stuck with her and carried Mary and handed her to her father, who was waiting for her on the docks where the Carpathia would arrive. As I said at the end of that video, if I ever got the chance to visit the final resting place of Robert Williams Daniel in Hollywood Cemetery, that I was going to do it. Well, I have made it back, and I have located the mausoleum that holds his final remains. Let's take a look at the other side of that story, the life of Robert Williams Daniel. Robert Williams Daniel was born September 11, 1884, right here in Richmond, Virginia. Mr. Daniel was an educated man graduating from the University of Virginia and beginning a career in banking and finance. We know that by 1911 he was living in Philadelphia and working as a banker. And as a banker, his career at times would find him in Europe and as such, he boarded the RMS Titanic on April 10, 1912 to make his way back to Philadelphia from London where he was on a business trip. And yes, it was a first class ticket for Mr. Daniel. He was placed in a first class stateroom along with his French bulldog. The matter in which he survived the sinking is truly unknown and many theories surround it. Daniel would never tell and perhaps the coldness and blur of the tragedy blocked that out of his memory. It is also unclear whether he met Mary Eloise Smith on a lifeboat or on the Carpathia. Legends would state both. The friendship that the two had would eventually turn into romance, and yes, they were married. They would marry in August of 1914. Daniel would leave from London for business and became stranded for quite some time because of the outbreak of the First World War. Once returning, they would settle in Philadelphia in an affluent neighborhood. He would be the stepfather to Lucian Jr., whose father passed in the Titanic sinking. Daniel then joined the military and would become major. At the time of the sinking, Daniel would speak of the tragedy, but in later years would almost refuse to talk about it. 
theories would arise as to why perhaps the stigma of a healthy 28-year-old man surviving a tragedy in which women and children were only to be rescued, he would go on to become a state senator of Virginia. The marriage between Robert Daniel and Mary Smith would end when she was granted a divorce petition citing an unknown blonde woman. Due to his failed marriages and trauma from the sinking of the Titanic, he would struggle with alcoholism. Robert Williams Daniel would pass away on December 20th, 1940 from cirrhosis of the liver and was laid to rest here at Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. Ironically, Mary Eloise Smith would pass away the very same year at a sanitarium in Cincinnati, Ohio. What a story and one that I was so happy to complete. I'll also leave a link to the video about Mary Eloise Smith in the description. Please subscribe for more stories like this and more cemetery and history videos. Once again, from Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia, I will see you again soon.